How's it going, everybody? This is the Redhead Gamer. Anyway, it is good to be back, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to be playing a short campaign with Macedon. You're probably going, wait a second, Red, you can't play a short campaign in Rome 2. Well, guess what? I got bored and started looking up mods on the Steam Workshop, and it turns out a guy by the name of Mezzanine made a mod where you could actually play a short campaign with Macedon. He also made one for Egypt, but in all honesty, I'm really not too, uh, I'm really not too much into Egypt, so I won't be playing Egypt, but I do hope he makes one for the Barbarian tribe soon. I would love to play as one as the Swaby or the Iceni. That'd be pretty cool. But for now, let's get started on the Macedon campaign. Oh yeah! I also got this new computer, so it actually has good graphics, it doesn't lag, and... Well, you guys have known about the good computer for a while now, actually, because you can look at my Joe's Eye campaign and my Crusader Kings 2 and see that it works. I'm also going to be f finishing up the Crusader Kings 2 here soon, guys. I just, you know, kind of want to upload some Rome 2 right now. Don't worry, though. The Crusader Kings 2 game will get some love. Tylus in particular is a problem and must be kept in check. The Athenians continue to resent your rule. They may turn against you, or convince your Spartan allies to betray their treaty. No matter, faced with hostility from Epirus, Sparta should remain true and may distract Epirus long enough for you to consolidate your rule at home. Conflict with the remaining successor kingdoms is inevitable, and you must be ready. Do not be afraid to seek military support from others if necessary. Rest assured, Macedon is the true heir to Alexander's legacy. It will rise once more. Alright, so apparently he calls it Macedon, but I'm going to call it Macedon. I really don't care about pronunciation too much and I'm used to saying Macedon so it's gonna be Macedon from now on if you guys don't mind also we got our first little mission here and you know what I really don't care about it honestly we're gonna start this off by raising a new general it's always nice and I prefer to uh, raise a general from the current ruling family which I'm in charge of so we're gonna do that Huh, shield bearer or foot companions? Which one's better though? That is the real question. You know what, we'll go with shield better bearers because I think it sounds pretty awesome. Also, forgive me, this is actually my first time playing a Rome 2 campaign. I didn't even bother with the prologue, so <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I mean, it's I've played other Total War games, obviously, but uh, the changes that have happened in Rome 2 are a little uh, um, nauseating to me, because I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I've watched a few other Let's Plays, though, so I kind of have an idea on what I'm doing. I mean, I know about the food and all that other new stuff, sort of, but... I honestly don't know what else I'm doing. So, if I do something insanely stupid, bear with me. I'll, I'm, I'll fix it later. I'm pretty sure I will. Hopefully. If not, this is going to be one hell of a short campaign. And I don't mean as in a victory way. <laughs> How do you counter-offer a trade agreement like that? Like... Hey, I know you wanted trade, but here, help us kill our enemies. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna accept that, bro. I mean, that's exactly what I wanted. It's so close. Yeah, bro, a uh, trade agreement. Just accept it. I will take word of our agreement and put it before my people. They will feast in celebration. Yeah, barbarians. <laughs> they think they're all cool. Until they get defeated the old fashioned way. There is glory to be had. Attack. Do not sit back and watch from the safety of a hilltop. Athens is all like, bro, you should like attack Epirus. And I'm like, you know, I could do that. But at the same time, 
I don't know if I want to. We offer this as a sign of accord reached and new accords to come. So I offered them a trade agreement, but it seems like they're offering me money now, and you know what? Yeah, I th actually I think I'll accept that. If Athens is at war with them, and I accept this, I not only get a diplomatic bonus with Athens, but I get money, and I get to double-team Epirus, so... It's a win-win situation, no matter how badly it goes. We also got a spy. I wonder if agents are as good as they were in Shogun. Because I've been hearing from a lot of like the reviews and stuff, they apparently made agents more useful, but apparently the agents all have like the same uses. So, I'll be the one to check that out. Let's start recruiting some more troops. So let's get the hoplites because, you know, having stronger units than your enemy is pretty nice. Quality over quantity. Though sometimes it's nice to have both. And I would love to have both, honestly. Our assassination with a level 1 spy is absolutely garbage, and we're not even going to try that right now. So let's poison. And failed. Unfortunately. So you guys have probably been wondering where I'm at, or what I've been doing. Well, college life, guys. College life. I also live in a dorm with, like, four other people, so it's kind of hard to find, you know, time to record. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this excuse before, but it really is, and I'm sorry for delaying videos. But over spring break here, I'm going to be uploading like crazy, since I have the whole dorm to myself now. And since everybody's gone, my internet's actually decent, so I'm going to have a fun time. Heh, heh, heh. So let's give him a few more troops. Let's start recruiting. Got a... Yeah, I have a quite a good number of hoplites. hoplites. Levy pikemen, though, they're cheaper. But at the same time, like I said, quality over quantity. Though we're going to have to start recruiting some skirmishers. Because skirmishers are so very fun. Military sabotage. Yeah, let's poison this guy real quick. Now it looks like Sparta is bringing up their troops. I'm kind of hoping, though, that I can capture Larissa and Apollonia soon before the other Greek cities do. I kind of want to plant down my flag and take those provinces for my own so that they uh, don't gain any more power. If I'm able to take over this whole, uh, these two Epirus, basically, I should be able to have enough power to just steamroll Sparta. You know, get the advantage over them. Athens is also my client state, so I'm hoping to keep it that way. For now, at least. Let's see here. Got the tech tree up. Trying to decide what I should research, though. I'm kind of confused on how this all works, or if I'm researching the right thing. I mean, I know they all give bonuses, but I'm wondering if there's a very efficient or nice way to progress. I'm hungry, actually. Don't know what I'm going to eat today. I'm thinking tacos for some reason. Position of strength. To offer peace otherwise is simple cowardice. Sure, if you want to be in my client state, but uh, from the looks of it, you don't want that, so no. Get out of here. Looks like I'm going to have to take over Epirus the hard way. Come on. Okay, now it's our turn. So what are we going to do here? Seems we got the terror of Phobos. We could hire some mercenaries, because we're bums like that. 
and we could also recruit some units. And you know what, I think we're gonna just march straight into Larissa right here and take it while it's not really defended. And it turns out it is defended, which is quite a surprise in my opinion, but... Oh well. We're just gonna encircle it for now. Lay siege to this town. And we're gonna send our spar... Ah, not our spar, our spy! Up to Apollonia. Sorry, I'm tired. And it looks like they have an army hidden up in the forest there. And they have nothing in their capital, so it looks like we're good for now. I'm just trying to figure out what we're going to do, though. So much to do, so little time. So many options, too, to top it all off. They want a peace treaty again, but they're demanding that we pay. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to accept that. Oh, hell no, we're not. And then, let's see here, we got this guy thinking he's all cool, but we have the advantage. So I'm just going to go aggressive stance here. And... Oh, none of the generals died, but I still took over the city. So I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's release the captives, because we're merciful. You know how it goes. Also, apparently releasing the captives makes people uh, think good of you. Or something like that. Don't know how it works, honestly. I know if you kill people, it makes the faction of the people you're killing hate you and your their enemies like you more. Which is pretty cool. But I don't know if it's something I want to do exactly, you know what I mean? And I almost put the units in the wrong army. That would have been bad. Thankfully, I noticed it, though, or else it would have been horrible. And then I would have cried a little as I failed. Now we're going to attack the city. And this is where we capture it. And... Oh... Kicked in the nads and stabbed in the throat. Now he's laying on the ground like a goat. <laughs> yeah, I just made that rhyme up. I'm fancy. We also got our military traditions now. I think that's one good thing they added in Rome, too. You can actually level up your armies now. It's not just your general. I think that's pretty cool. Kind of gives you that more emotional connection to your army like this is my army which conquered Greece for my glorious empire the terror of Phobos they're very good at using spears and skirmishers and then over here I have the gods of war or something you know and they're designed to uh, siege cities and I conquered Rome with them I mean that's kind of a cool thing you know I enjoy it and it looks like my spy failed, as usual. Spies. So useless unless they're dying or being interrogated for information. Though sometimes they're able to get the stab in and kill a general, which is always nice. Yeah, let's make them formidable spearmen. And, uh, yeah, I'll go with that one general. It's always nice to get more to your command. I don't know what I should research. I think I'll go civil this time around. Yeah, that's that sounds nice. Should I upgrade any of these buildings? I can make it a Hellenistic village. And it produces olive oil. Oh yeah. I could always put that on my sub sandwich. Hey, don't judge me, man. Olive oil on sub sandwiches are amazing. Especially when they have ham, turkey, pepperoni. You know, I'm actually, that sounds pretty good. I might go get a sub today. Don't know where from, though, but I'm starving, and it sounds pretty good, so... I think I'll put that on my to-eat list. Our hidden agent exposed. Not really hidden if she's exposed, man. Not to mention she just, 
you know, tried to wreck a baggage train. She probably ain't too hidden now. But oh well. It's just, you know, simple details. Details, details. I'm gonna put you back in a uh, Pella for now. And then I'll send my spy over here to see how well defended the city is. It looks like they have absolutely nothing, so, you know, let's go uh, commit arson. Let's light some buildings on fire. I have no idea which building I just lit on fire, but, you know, fires are always nice when they're happening to your enemies. And when your enemies are on fire! They just scream in pain, and the fire consumes their flesh, and all you can think to yourself is a whole bunch of crazy stuff. And I think I'm going to get the murder skill for my spy. I want to turn her into a, an assassin. It'd be fun to watch all the generals get stabbed to death. Or something along those lines, you know. I don't exactly know what I'm doing, so forgive me. This is my first time playing the Rome 2 campaign. Like I said earlier, I haven't even played the prologue. So all this new stuff they've added is kind of uh, messing with me. I mean, you know, obviously I've played other Total War games, but some of the new stuff, just I can't get used to it yet. I'll get used to it in time. I don't exactly care for how you need a general to recruit troops, though. I think that's a little stupid, but whatever. I can see how it makes it uh, a little bit more fun. They also added that family system, and I've heard about Civil Wars, which is kind of like the new, uh, what do you call it? What was it called? Oh, Realm Divide, yeah. So now you have to worry about Civil Wars happening and all that fun stuff. I don't know. That was one part in Rome 1 I didn't really care about either. The Civil War. I thought it was a little stupid, honestly. Though I did enjoy playing as Gaul and, like, sacking Rome. Something about sacking the Senate and watching the Broody Eye and Skippy Eye just try to take back Rome was hilarious, in my opinion. Military sabotage successful. Wreck baggage train. I just ruined their stuff. Their buildings are on fire. That guy's recruiting troops. You know, I think it's about time. Or is it? I don't know. Let's see here. Let's raise a new... No, we're not going to raise another general yet. There's too many other families. I don't want to give the other families glory and influence because let's face it man if they get support hell's gonna break loose and I do not like that one bit not one bit at all but we're gonna send the army out here we're gonna march straight to their capital and take it over hopefully and we're also gonna hire a little bit of mercenaries just so we can completely overwhelm them I mean, we have the money, we might as well spend it. That's one important rule to remember in these games, guys. If you have money, spend it. Spend it on buildings, spend it on troops, spend it. Because your imperialistic empire can obviously exploit the lands you conquer, get a lot of money from them, and then, you know, just build bigger armies, bigger cities, and use them to take over the world. It's a pretty simple steamrolling process, but it works. It most definitely works. Man, those shields. I love how how they look in this game. So let's send in the spy. And you know what? Nah, we can't manipulate her. So you know what? Let's try to assassinate her. And... Victory! Hell yeah, get stabbed to death. You've been sacrificed to the demon lord through a ritual blade. Because that's just how we roll. Or something like that. Get some new skills. Can't upgrade murder yet, unfortunately. I want to make her a cold-blooded killer. Because that was awesome. I don't know. What to upgrade? You know what? Let's upgrade this one. 
I should be good. For now. 